just, uh, just know that oh, look, everything's being recorded. <laughs> look, when we sit, we're almost. Can you sit up? Of course. Now I'm gonna. Well, hey guys, I'm back and I am joined by an extra special super guest. Now, you know him as the guy that when I was a teenager used to torture me with a Kubaton because he could. But this is my very best friend from growing up from the time he was born and I was two. Yeah. Um, because in, in back in New York City, it, we grew up in apartments that faced each other by about, I'd say about 200 feet away. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. Um, and 20 yards. <laughs> I mean, easily I could I could run full speed and and have trouble stopping before I hit the door face first. Yeah. So this is Adam. Uh, Adam has come out to pay me a visit <coughs> so we could commiserate about certain things and uh, catch up. It's been a while. It's been a, yeah. it's been a bit. I mean, we've talked. We've talked. Oh yeah, we've talked. We've, I haven't seen you in maybe a year. Year and a half. Yeah. Yeah. It was probably mid 22. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was at the yeah. kids' table where we caused a kids disturbance. Kids' table causing disturbance. Yes. That's what it um, but anyway, so I'm sure everybody out there has that one friend where you can go years without actually seeing each other, but then you catch up and it's like no time has gone by and you're still. 15 years Stupid old, just, little kids. just laughing yeah. at, at the word poop. Um, so that's how it is for us. And we have had, we've worked together doing EMS, volunteer, fire department, ambulance. We literally worked together in the emergency room. Yeah. Same shift. Usually different shifts, actually. Yeah. Because I love the overnights. Well, I only did overnights. Did you only do overnights? Yeah. Oh, well then, yeah. But, um... Um, I, lo I love working overnights because that's when you had the coolest doctors. You got to do the most. You got stuff. to do the most. Yeah. Um, but we, so we, I, we, we've had very similar experiences, and then kind of an adult life, we went in some separate directions, um, but still had to, anyway. So we, we, but we grew up in youth. Our families always went camping together, like every summer. Yeah. And so we're still into a lot of the same kind of stuff. So. We go to Bantam Lake. Bantam Lake in, uh, in Lichfield, Connecticut. Lichfield, Connecticut. Yeah. Um, I highly recommend it. It's still there. It's still it's there. The White Memorial Foundation, I believe. Um, I just realized we are totally, we have covered up the mic. I hope everybody has heard us talking. Yes. I'll have to do some enhancements. <laughs> I totally covered the microphone. Um, oh, we've un, we've uh, we've un, unmasked un, the gnomes. Unmasked the gnomes. Um, we did some wood carving yesterday we did look therapeutic wood carving he taught me the carving i taught him the painting we shared our yeah. skills i have never painted anything before and i've never carved anything before which is why my mine looks like it has a penis on its head um it's yeah. just fun skill we I, see we're doing stuff yeah I, so, I started trying to learn to carve about three weeks ago i i started learning how to carve two days ago yeah which is why his has like features and mine looks like the kind of troll that that somebody brought back from a Polynesian island <laughs> and now haunts him. Um, anyway, so the point is... Good little gnomes. Everyone needs a little gnome. Yeah. Uh, the point is this guy has, has spent plenty of time outdoors and um, we've just been having a really good time talking about stuff. And he's going to assist me with some... Uh, with looking at some products, doing some unboxings, so... Yeah. Um, and these gnomes will oversee the operation. Um, so today I got something from Odin Wolf. I've had this for a little while, um, and I haven't done the video because I've been thinking about how to do it. But now that he's here, we're gonna we're gonna just get ridiculous with it. Because when I open this box, it's gonna be a little. It's gonna be. You're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, "What are we gonna do with that?" But we're gonna have fun with it. Um, and Odin Wolf has some other stuff they want to send me after we're done with this. So. Um, yeah, I've been pretty curious because you talked about this as being. The most ridiculous knife, and I'm gonna be intrigued and want to do interesting things with it. 
as an outdoors and now I knife. I want to see what it is. So uh, you know, Odin Wolf is it's a it's a German company, and when I say ridiculous, I'm just saying I don't I don't mean to insult the knife, but as an outdoors knife, it's a very interesting style. Um, I'm not saying ridiculous in terms of what it's made of and what it can do. Is it geared towards more survival or more bushcraft in in what they are expecting it to do? Is it they, a camp knife? Yeah. Yes. Okay. But, well, just because, you know, yeah, different styles will fit in. So they are right. saying it's a survival knife and it's got a thin blade and can't baton and you're not going to baton with shelter. this i'm telling you this right now you're not going to baton with this knife okay. I've, I've already looked so at it so if you say it's only be a camp knife where you're just maybe making some tinder you're you know maybe doing some yeah. cook prep you could do that i'm going to tell you this is more geared when we talk about survival it's like if you had a a horde of of gothic warriors coming over a wall okay. towards you okay if yeah okay so inside wow that sun is killing yeah we're gonna go off into a wooded area and play with it so you've got some some product stuff and odin wolf knives um every month if you you know if you post a photo you can get a hundred dollar gift card you know with a knife take some pictures why not um knife care tips and they've got a qr code for that and be part of the wolf pack you know, follow them. I, I, I'm a wolf pack for one. That's that's the yeah. best wolf pack to be. Yeah. <laughs> um, thank you for your purchase. Okay. So obviously, I've already looked at it. You've got a kind of polymer sheath. Um, it comes with one belt loop, but you can see here you can put like a tech lock or something yeah. else on it. I'm gonna let you, because I want to see how you. I covered up the microphone again. <laughs> this is going to be terrible audio. Um, I want to see your re your reaction. All right. <laughs> so that's what I'm yes. saying. Th this is like a um, <coughs> a, a miniature gladiator. That's sword. exactly what I would say. If you're if you're yeah. in a Roman legion, yeah, this would be your backup knife to your yes. same shaped now larger sword in all fairness i'm, I'm telling you this, I've, I've looked at their other stuff their other stuff is very bushcraft outdoors utilitarian yeah this is what they had on hand when they said we'd like to send you something yeah um it's, it's made not of, really designed for any outdoor use i mean i'm thinking m maybe machete like bush maybe. clearing um you, you camp kitchen maybe maybe um, Macheting, I mean, it's, I think the light stuff with the swooping yeah. blade it may, may work for that. Now, we will have some legal issues for many people in many places because it is full, double-edged, sharpened. Yes. Um, and I know that's a thing. Which um, is also why you cannot baton with it. Which is why I said you're not going to baton with this thing. Yeah. Um, it also makes it, you're not going to be able to do you know find maybe you could do some fire prep but like to get like those fine you know feather sticking yeah you, you, there's no support on the back yeah, side of the blade because you're holding it so far back that you can't push on the other side no i mean unless you use this very very far to the rear section like almost right on the ricasso here yeah but um and i don't know how how well that's gonna as work soon as for i you. push i'm gonna slice my thumb yeah open, though. um so I think really this is like a, a slashing, slicing kind of tool. Yeah, for sure. But like I said, we're gonna we're looking at it now. We're gonna head to a little wooded area. Um, we'll we'll try to chop through some wood with it. You, it does have a lanyard hole. It does. So you can put a little uh, paracord end on this and be able to kind of lock it in, hold it further back with it locked in to get better chopping. And so, I bought some new 550 cords since I can't find any 550 and there, cord. And there you go. So we've got a few different tests that we're gonna run with it. Um, I think, you know, to begin with. Let's cut some let's, paper. Let's, uh, I'll do a little and you can do a little. Uh, it's such a large area yeah. of blade to test, which, but 
Doesn't seem to be doing too bad. That's right? not bad. I was not. But can you more push it through? Or well, slice it through. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's not bad. It seems to be finished pretty well all the way down. Both. So you wanna wanna get well, it? You you did the on. one side. Right? I did both. Oh, just you, to you just to check both. it. But I mean, you you give it a shot. See how all you right. like it. For me, it does not cut. Yes, for, for me. Well, it doesn't like you. It doesn't like me. Let's try the other side. No. Maybe your angle. I'm, I'm just not... Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's not so bad. I guess. Now... Cutting money is apparently not my... It's a skill. Cutting money my, is a skill. Not my forte. Um... This is this is as well packed as the extension cord we just undid. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where the running end on this thing is. I think it's right there. Is it this side? So I just did this for so nothing. I think it's this piece right here. Great, great. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not any. It's not any end. Is it this? There we go. There you go. Here, since you have it in your hand, why don't you? All right. Do some. No, I just knocked out my gnome. Don't knock down the gnome. He'll come haunt you in your sleep. All right, I'll do the slice first. Yeah, give it a slice. Slice bad. wasn't bad. I mean, it's not the cleanest. It's not. But and how, I, did, I, how I was did, the effort? Did it feel? Did like? No, it wasn't a lot of effort. But it, it. Let's try it one more time. Let's try it on the other side. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it didn't really start cutting through until you got to until the, you got to the, to the belly. Yeah. yeah. And then the pull through. Is enough to do for Is that enough? Throw. We have levers? I mean, maybe. I'm a strong guy, Mike. Yeah, I know you are. You're a big guy. But, but I what I was going to say is I feel like the problem is the leverage is going to be off because it's such a... Yeah, I cannot pull that through. Because the, the, like, the fulcrum point on that is going to be so far back. Yeah, I failed on the pull through. I feel like... So what I feel like you need to do is just get an extra long piece. I still don't like, think it'll work. Well, let's see. Let's take a look. I'm going to, like... See, I'm gonna loop it around. I'm gonna give myself yes. and uh see, oh. I cheated. I held on there and I used the closest point. Okay. But just to uncheat, let's um oops. See, I think if I were to try it out here, yeah. you, you, I, I was trying you would to never make, get the I leverage. Was trying to get closer, right. Like on the belly. So if you do it way down here you're like you have you better get, leverage yeah, yeah and so yeah um it's just it's for an outdoors knife it's it's a real kind of uh, it's not it's it's i could uh, like i said i could see it taking it for slashing for slicing stuff yeah but it could be a it's a gladiator's combat it, it is i could see yeah. like i said i could see defending yeah. yourself with a shield in one hand and yeah. poking through the phalanx yeah. but I mean I, I really am like this is not it's not the most bizarre shape I've tested for somebody that said this is an outdoors knives if you guys remember the Klingon the Kubi Klingon battle cruiser yes. that they sent that was the most bizarre shape for any outdoor knife that they were like here take this and do your bushcraft and camping like this would be a much more rational shape than that thing because um, at least you do have belly to slice with and cut with yeah um i mean you could do some wood process we'll we'll do some wood yeah. just chop. chop it and see what chop happens some wood. and then we'll just um we'll do it on some like firewood stuff take it in the woods do it on some live branches see how it does and then uh other fun stuff but what are you what are your predictions on how well this works on stuff like that uh I, I think it might handle chopping because it does have some good weight towards the front and it does have that swooping belly. Um, I, I'm still not convinced it's gonna do great for like feather sticking, uh, wood processing. I might tend to agree with you on that. And splitting. All right. Uh, I also think you're gonna be tempted to try to pry with the point. 
some kind of jab and try oh, to yeah. twist and pry. And I, I don't know if it, you know, that's probably going to totally destroy your top end. Okay, but the thing is, could I carve a gnome with it? Uh, no. Oh, okay, then. No. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we uh, move over to the little test area over there, start with some wood stuff, and then All right. do more ridiculous stuff in the woods. We'll see you at the wood stuff. Okay. All right, here we are with some wood, various types that have been, uh, let me use this for a baton test before. This was the batoning. Yes. This is, uh, it's kind of dried out, but I think we could check it out. This is, oops. This is a little dry, but I mean, if we're gonna try to I chop on some try stuff, feather stick with this one. we could um, try to chop on this one. Yeah, I mean, we'll 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 figure out what it does. The ground is dried and fairly firm, so yeah. uh, you're a bigger guy. This is where I feel like you would want to put it in and try to pry. Like you'd see that already there, and you would, you know. Yeah. That's not gonna work. You don't have any. Doesn't work. Let me move, just for camera purposes, let me move this a little bit closer right there. All right. Try a little chop. Yeah, let's see how far I'm it goes. I'm going to center it from here and avoid what's there. That went that nowhere. It went. <laughs> oh, that's All not right. bad. I that mean, one's in. the problem is, but like, you, like we said, you it. can't baton anything down yeah. into it. So, the chances of me hitting that spot again are... Probably one in a million. Oh, I did it. So now, I mean, the only I thing I could think of is to spot, pick the but, whole. But again, it, it's not. Oh, I didn't do it. But yeah, no, that's not gonna work. What if? Uh, Can you let me see, like, like for a smaller, for like a, uh, the corner off. Yeah, like. No. <laughs> Let's try. <laughs> like this is gonna be. I'm not thrilled it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, you're batoning though. Yeah, but I mean, like, for how? Yeah, but you're you're gonna. This is the only way I can think. But like, you couldn't do this with that. You'd have to yeah. have some pre-split. I would think you're. Um... Your batoning is going to dull that knife. Right, yeah. And so if you don't have a designated batoning side. Which you'd have to mark gonna, somehow. You're going to constantly be well, destroying both ends of the knife. So with that in mind, that's a good mm -hmm. point. Once you start doing that, you can see we've got the marks here. This is what went through the wood. Am I even on camera? So, like, if we're gonna do something like that, you'd have to remember this is the this is the side that this went through the wood. So now this would be our batoning side. If you're out in the woods, or you could mark this somehow. But I mean, you know, you can just have to know you're always holding it with. Oh, that's right. The, this, the markings, the D2 yeah. Facing, facing one away. direction. You're See, you're smart. That's knife. why. That's why you're a doctor of doctorology. Yes. And I'm not. Doctor yes. of medical science. Doctor of medical science. You know, he's, he's really like, he's not just, he didn't just stay in a Holiday Inn Express last night. No, he actually, no. actually, I actually is, suffered through a program. Yeah, like so. for real. I told you he's smarter than me. I've said that in in videos. Let's, um, I wonder if you could like, how it is a debarking. If you, yeah. like, if we're talking about making fire starting stuff. Seems like it's deep That's not, I it's mean, not so bad. but again, you're always, I mean, the, the real power on that is you coming from come closer to the right handle. Here. Yeah, it wasn't working further up. And even that, it's, it's kind of an odd. I mean, maybe if you rest the end of it on the ground too, just to give you like the stick on the ground so you can use a little bit more leverage, but. Am I, I like the, doing this on camera? Not really, <laughs> but, but the wood is flying off on camera. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, and, that's and working. If you could keep I, shaving, I do have to put my thumb where I would want to normally put it on some jimping to get some leverage, and that's very uncomfortable. Um, yeah, 
That's a big hot spot on my thumb. Don't like it. But it did debark pretty well. So let me let me try something now with that. Let's see. Oh, you want to you want to chop? Well, I I kind of want to. Yeah, I want to sort of. So let's see. We've got that now. If we we're gonna, I think actually this is gonna be. If we just wanted to commit. Well, I'm not trying to feather stick or anything. I'm trying to. So if we were gonna get some wood shavings, like if we needed tinder. Yeah. No, it's doing that. But I keep hitting the ground, and I don't know how good that is to the blade. You know, no. depending on what you're. Yeah. So it might be better to. So at least we're hitting another piece of wood. Yeah, dirt and knife edges don't. Yeah. Don't like each other. If we were gonna try to use this, let's say we were, let's say we were surviving and we needed to build a shelter and we were trying to notch into wood. Yeah. How easy could you make a tent pole out of this? Yeah. Stick. You'd be using a small piece of wood for that. It's so. just. For these kinds of purposes, I always want to rely back here. Yeah. When we're off in the woods and we're we're like trying to cut a path, I probably would be higher. using higher. But I mean, you get leverage with it. It's just I feel like you get more power for this kind of stuff towards the rear. Yeah. But it does it. I mean, it does it, and you know what? It's smooth and it's a little shiny. Yeah. That's my gnome. That's a, that's a gnome. You take big pieces off. It's very hard. Like if I wanted to make a like a pointed end. Yeah, but you're you're hacking away at it. I mean, you're getting it. Yeah. It's just awkward. You're actually doing it quicker and more more effectively than I thought it was going to do, though. I can see how there's a little um, little control issue, like getting it to land yeah. in the same spot exactly where you want. But damn, it's doing it. It's, uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to do this. I didn't either. It And again, faster, not only are you doing it, but it's faster than I thought it would be. Yeah. Well, not there. I mean, that's... And if you're doing a, a tent steak, it would be a much thinner piece. Wouldn't right, it? yeah. Quicker, easier, but... Nice. Yeah, I mean that's it's doing the job. Now right. do you think you can chop? You know, the traditional chop. You know. I can't believe I didn't even knock that over. <laughs> I am it's, more impressed with this chopping. as we go. Yeah, I did not think it would. 
The wood's making a weird springy noise. You hear that? Yeah, yeah. I, I like every once in a while when you were working on that, you heard a little ping. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, hey, that's a lot better than I thought. Recent. Okay. So a little feather sticking, attempting anyway. Yeah. See, I, right away I want. Right. Put my you want to put your thumb on the on the spine, which it doesn't have. Oh, oh there's your ten stick. It's very hard to control. Yeah. So once again, I think that it would be a little easier if you rested the stick on a surface, so at least you had stability in it. Does that make it any easier? Hmm. Slightly. I, I feel like I'm constantly. Yeah. I don't think you're going to get a feather. I mean, I, yeah. I think you can make tinder out of it with wood shavings, but I, I, I don't agree. think you're going to get a feather stick. You could scrape that really nice, and, and there's lots of little. Lots of little. Little curly there. cues, yeah. I mean, it's almost, yeah, it just, I think it's a little too hard to control the stop point. Yeah. But that is, I mean, it's nice, finely cut little pieces. That'll, that'll burn. What if I just work a little closer? A little closer? Yeah. I mean, that seems to be the key in a lot of ways closer, for control wise. Closer is better, for sure. Still not easy. Still resting my finger on that on that flare part, and it's just not comfortable. So, I mean, kinda not really, but it, yeah, I it's mean, burnable. You'll start a fire. Look, I read my thumb guy. Yeah, you'll start a fire, but it's just not ideal. A lot of work. It is. All right, to the woods we go. Whatever way you're comfortable with. Oof. Now I'm with so how is that really? I mean that could have been me. That's okay. Oh, there you go. You can drink it. No. This blade might have been in poison ivy. <laughs> Screen's upside down, it's hard to see. You ready for this? <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> Woo! It's, oh, the camera, the screen's upside down. There we go. Do you want to do one? Never leave your fun blade testing garbage in the woods. Bring it home with you. So, that was fun. You're covered in Mountain yeah, Dew. Yeah, I am covered in Mountain Dew now. Um, and the worst flavor. I don't see any kind of chips 
or uh, any deformities on the edge. Oh, I, I wonder you, if it was still cut money. I was just thinking that, but you know what? We're going to need to... It's sticky, so it needs to oh, be washed wonder, a little bit. I wonder why. Yeah, gee, why is that? <laughs> um, we need to, like, wipe it down a little bit. So, after after giving it just, like, a wipe down with water... I don't, it looks pretty good. It looks good. I don't see a lot of, like... I mean, you can see some marks from where we cut through some stuff, but... Yeah, but no, it looks... Not a there's, lot. There's, is that a chip right there? Is that... Let's see. Feels like a little, I don't know if it's a chip or a burr. I can run my nail over it. There's something. Yeah. It's not gonna show up on camera, but there's something over there. But I don't see it on the other side, so it might be like a little roll towards this side. Mm hmm Oh, that does look like a little bit of a chip. See? Yeah, it's right there. I mean, I think it would, it would sharpen out easily, but. Yeah. Um, Let's cut money, part two. <clears throat> Let's try that side, but not on the chip. My money cutting skills. Yes. <laughs> Let's try the other side. That side's good. I mean, that's. It's better. Give it a shot. Let's see. Where's the chip side? All right, chip side. Oh yeah, there's there it is, because it cuts, 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 and holds up right there. Yeah. But past that, past that, the edge is still. I think you know what your problem is. I think you're at I, too I, steep I, an I angle. I have to step up my money cutting game. I think it's just you're at too you're doing it too steep an angle at first. But the edge is is, whole, except for that little chip right there, and yeah. that could be from any chopping one of the things we did yeah. cutting through. Two aluminum cans. We, I mean, we you did know. we did try to chop a lot and do a lot of work on right this on yeah lower section of blade. But it's still, I mean, it's something that I, I'm sure we would buff out with just a little bit of uh, work. So, so I overall, the truth is, when I saw the shape, I was like, "What are you going to do with that? Yeah. Camping, survival, bushcraft, anything?" And there's still a number of things you can't do. No, but the truth is, and, it and, did and better than I thought. So, some of the things it did. It didn't do well. It did, it but just, it did. It just, you know, did enough to accomplish the job. Yeah. You know, like it did enough to say, okay, yeah, you can start a fire with that. But it didn't right. really fire stick no. great. It would not be a first it, choice. You batoned it in some small wood, <coughs> but over time, I mean, it's not yeah. going to handle batoning. No. I so, mean, it, I was shocked that I was actually able to put on anything with it. Yeah. That so, was, so I feel like it's it it can get some tasks done, but it would not be my choice to take. No, me. it wouldn't. Um, there were there are some situations where I might use it, but it wouldn't be like the Gladiator Arena. Right. Um, you know. No, like I said, Odin Odin Wolf, they have some much more outdoors bushcraft design things this is this is what they had at the time um, one one thing I can say though is I like the balance on it yeah if it was more of a traditional outdoors blade I feel like we'd really be able to but right. and we also didn't try putting a lanyard on the end of it we did the extra that's true we didn't do that uh, for the extra I mean, chopability and leverage. The grip on this and the feel the of the rubberiness is good. is good, but yeah, it's just not like the blade shape itself is not. It is fun to cut through bottles and cans, though. Yes. I mean, in, unless you get covered um, in Mountain Dew, yeah. and then, you know, it kind of takes some it's of the okay. fun out. But sorry. <laughs> but that was, I mean, that was a fun, uh, that was a fun point to do with it. So, and we were able to get this nice stick for carving more gnomes and, and wood spirits and yeah so so thing. this end is the end that you cut on yeah. camera and and we're able to chop it down mm -hmm. and then we this was chopped off camera but you know it, it did the job chopping through this yeah. uh you know just spinning the stick around and giving it some chops it it definitely did the job i think a machete would have done it in like three strokes 
uh, you know, a good axe would have <laughs> done it in one or two. But, you know. Yeah, so. But I also feel like any other bushcraft survival knife would have done it in a similar fashion to this. Yeah. Um, but anyway, there it is. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to put a link to the, the Odin Wolf website where you can, because I want you to see their more traditional blades compared to this. I know there are also some folks that are going to see this and be like, that's a cool shape. You know, if you yeah. if you like the shape, you like the shape. There's nothing wrong with liking it No, if and you're, using if you're, it for whatever if you want. you're into collecting interesting knives, yeah. you know, and, and you just kind of have a knife collection that you don't really beat up on, it's it's an interesting looking blade. It's it a is. very gladiator style, Spartan style type blade. Yeah. Um, I might do a follow up. You know, just fixing that. That chi I mean, that chip is it, it can be fixed so easily. It probably it's just, just a, a fine diamond. Yeah, fine diamond. Right, like just a few strokes right there would would, yeah. would knock that out. So, but thanks, Adam, for playing with me today. No problem. We don't have He-Man's and G.I. Joe's, but we got knives. We have knives and gnomes. Knives and gnomes. Knives and gnomes. That would be a great channel name. Yeah. <coughs> or a store. Our camping store idea that we never we, did. We were going to have an outdoors camping scuba diving supply Knives store. and gnomes. And, and now wood now, carving supplies. Yeah, we, we can run wood carving classes. We could teach people how to make not great looking gnomes. It would be knives and gnomes. Yeah. But so, all right, guys. So, your thoughts on this in terms of shape, overall design, usability, practicality, what you saw in the video, um, all that fun stuff. Yeah, it's right at the end. Got some uses. There it goes. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for hanging with the video, and uh, really, I, I, I'm excited to see everybody's comments on this, and so is my gnome. So, uh, remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks to Odin Wolf for supplying a knife for us to have a lot of fun with today. And we'll be back again real soon. Gnome. Gnome.